ten children for the candle lighting. That's too many. Ten? The cap is eight. Oh. Sorry to bother you. I thought you said you were done with us. Well, unfortunately, we're now treating Father McCarthy's death as a homicide, so I'll have to speak with each of you again. I guess everybody says that. It doesn't make sense, but... It really does. Never does. Look, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I, my relationship with Father McCarthy was very pure. I, he was... It's all right, take your time. No, I'm, I'm not crying. I'm just trying to think of the word. <sighs> Colleague, partner, ugh, this just sounds so stupid to me. I don't, I don't know, I guess that, I guess there was a feeling of respect. We were just two honest people working really hard. You worked here before the others? Well, before Charlotte, certainly. Everybody was here before Charlotte. You can ask me if you had any enemies? He didn't. Can we talk about November 4th? Sure. Um, he left at the end of the day, just like he always does. Nothing different. Nothing different. Claire. I'm glad that you'll be speaking with Father Thomas. Why is that? Father Thomas had been, what's the phrase? Siding up? They became close. Father Thomas used to drag him to an establishment on Mondays. What sort of establishment? In Boys Town. All right. Boys Town, do you know where that is? I do. Anyway, I'm not saying it. I'm just really glad that you'll be speaking with him. We need to dust in here. I might cry. That's all right. <laughs> he was a family friend. When my father died, I was so upset. We were in California, and my mother thought it might be nice if I got away for a little bit. Father Michael, he let me stay with him until I found a place of my own. So you lived with him? Yeah. We would stay up for hours talking. He'd make me breakfast. It's funny. My fathers keep dying. How old are you, Charlotte? 22. Mm. So you, like, work here part-time? Full-time. Oh. All right. But you seem surprised. You could be any sort of age and work in a church. It's not about that. It's about a communion of believers. Hmm. I wish you'd known him. Seem like you could use a handsome man in your life. <laughs> well, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> just kind of came out. No, 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 it's okay, it's all right. It's actually, um, I did. You did? Father Michael and I went to school together. But it was a long time ago. Wasn't he just the handsomest? I used to say to myself, he's good looking enough to make anyone a believer. So your coworker, Claire, was telling me that uh, occasionally you and Father Michael would go out. Bitch. <sighs> Sorry, just, I love her, but she can really be a bitch sometimes. She works hard though. Do you wanna tell me about your relationship with Father Michael? 
Yeah. I, he was my friend. You want to know why we went out on Monday nights? We went out because that was the night that Father Michael would sit at a table at Cosmos. Cosmos the club. He would sit at a table and people from the LGBT community would come up and talk to him about their problems, their, their doubts, about their sexuality, their HIV, whatever. He was there to talk to people. He was there to, to be grace. For people. That's what that was. Father Thomas, I'm going to tell you something I didn't tell your colleagues. They found drugs in his system. So what? Illegal drugs. Have you ever done illegal drugs? Yes. That doesn't mean anything to me. What does it mean to you? I'm not drawing any conclusions, I'm just asking questions. I only knew of him what I knew of him. That's it. Saints. Yes. Low Mass is Sunday through Friday, 7 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Sunday Mass is at 11 a.m. On Christmas? Uh-huh. Yes, we'll have a midnight Mass on the 24th. Great. Please join us. All right. God bless. play you guys a song. I, I just heard it. It's really good. I love it. I bet you'll love it too. Do you mind? Sure, just keep it quiet. Okay. Hey, Mike. 